Hello my friends, I'm Clover, this is Genuinely Approachable Sudoku, and today we are solving a puzzle called Non-Suspicious Setup by Philip Newman. Uh, the setup's definitely not suspicious at all, it's definitely not reminiscent of an infamous puzzle called, I believe, Loki, um, which was mentioned in Philip's talk at SudokuCon, which I've just returned from. Um, the videos from that will be posted pretty soon, by the way. Uh, we haven't quite sorted out exactly how we're going to publish and distribute and edit those, but if you were not at SudokuCon, uh, particularly if you got a live stream ticket to join us virtually, you should be able to see the videos relatively shortly. We're still kind of working on how to make that happen. But right now, let's go ahead and solve this Sudoku for gas today. So this is a classic Sudoku. So we're placing the digits one through nine, once each in each row, each column, and each outlined three by three region. And that is it. That is our only rule today because this is just a classic Sudoku. So the first thing I see is a hidden one right here. There's only one place for a one in this region. That leaves me with three, five, and seven to place in this region. This cell in the middle already sees five and seven, so that's going to be a three. And I can mark these as five and seven. I need a four, five, and six in this row because there's a four and six here. That's going to be a naked five. There's a six here giving me a naked four. And that is going to be my six. So now to fill in this region, I need two, three, and seven. Two can't go here or here. Therefore, two goes there. And I can mark these guys as three and seven. This column is kind of filling up. I need three, four, five, and seven. So four is going to be in one of those cells. That's going to be three, five, or seven. I don't think I can quite get further with that just yet. Let's look at this row. This row is nearly full. So I still need one, three, and seven. I have one and three in this column, so it's going to be a naked seven. There's a surprising number of naked digits to find in this particular solve um, compared to a lot of gas classics I've solved. In this column, I need a four and a six. I can just mark those. I do need a three here. Actually, this is going to be a three, five pair because I have three and five here. So the only positions for three and five in the region are in these two spots. These are going to be eight and nine to finish off my region. Here I need a 2, an 8, and a 9 to finish the column. And I can't disambiguate that yet, but I can mark them. I need a 5 in one of these two cells, can't go there, so this is in fact a hidden 5, making this a 4. And now in this region, I still need a 1, a 2, a 6, and a 7. So these are going to have to be my 2 and 7 because I have a 1 and 6 in the column already. And then I can place a 1 and a 6 here. This is no longer a 5. In these two cells, I need an 8 and a 9 to finish off this column. And here I need a 3, a 5, and a 7. I'm going to finish this region. I need a 3, a 5, and a 6. Neither of these cells can be 6. It's a very similar setup to the one that we've been seeing the whole solve. That's going to be my 6. Now, what else do we need to do here? In this column, which is nearing completion, we need 1, 2, 4, and 7. So these can't be 1 or 7 because those are already in the region. So that'll be my 2 and 4. The 4 tells me which way around those go. That's now a 9, and the 4 resolves this 4, 6 pair. So these are going to be my 1 and 7 to finish the column. And this can't be a 7. So I have a 3, 5 pair in the row. Therefore, now this is 2, 8, or 9, and there's a 2 in the column. So that gives me the 2 right here. And the 9 in this column gives me my 8, which is going to take care of these 8s and 9s. Now, the only remaining digit I need in this row is a 4. Here, I need a 3, a 6, and an 8. And I have a 3 and 6 in the row. So that's going to be my 8. I need a 7 and 9 to finish off this row. And that is taken care of by the 9 down there. And the 7 is actually going to kind of bounce back and take care of a whole lot of stuff that we've been leaving for later for the time being. We have a 5 in this column, so we now know which way around these 3s and 5s go. Here I'm going to need a 1 and a 3 and a 6 and a 3 and an 8. And my very last digit in the puzzle is going to be a 2. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's non-suspicious setup. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Check it out yourself using the link in the description below this video, and I will see you in three days.